Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Voidiger. We are jumping in once again and we are just going to jump in as regular character. We have this guy but I want to wait until we can unlock his like abilities and stuff just in case. But yeah, we'll just run in for another basic run here and see what we can do because yeah, I'm, I'm sort of ready and raring to go here. Uh, apparently this I need to be leaving for a little later. It's sort of an end game currency sink. Uh, but we'll jump, just jump into a regular run. We're going to play as Drash. Uh, I'll still use this, and I'll still use the Begunner. I'm pretty happy with everything there. And we've got one win on Rogue so far. I'm really happy with that. The last episode we did, getting that win was... Oh, my God. It was so damn satisfying. Um, we'll see what we can do. By the way, also... Um, people explained to me there's a dash ability that I still can't remember how to do. Is this it? No? One second. I'm going to go look at the comments for the other episodes because people could explain to me that there's some sort of dash ability or dodge ability that I've been missing. Um, so let's see if we can find that. People did mention it in the comments of the previous video. There's my voice again. You're hearing it twice. Um, let's have a little look-see. One second. Okay, apparently it's right-click while sprinting, but that's that's what I'm doing here, and that doesn't look like a dash. That looks like a melee swing. Unless it's character-specific, maybe? I don't know. Either way. We'll just let it be what it is, and we'll carry on with this run, and see if we can get another win under our belt. I'd really, really like to. Um, by the way, I it shouldn't be an issue for you guys listening, um, but I will just pre uh, preface this episode by saying that my mic has been having yet again more issues in the fact that it's just made itself quieter again. It keeps happening. I got it. I I, I got it really, really nice and set up. Oh, it's this dude. Eh, eh, eh. Damn you, you chest wielding weirdo. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've um I've mentioned it on my Isaac series before that my microphone. Like, quite a few months ago now, oh, there's a crack here, I see that, um, magically just got quieter for some reason, and I don't know why, um, and I've recently, over the past few days, rejigged my microphone to be a little bit closer to my mouth and stuff to hopefully help the audio and stuff like that, and then, like, I, I listened back to my most recent Isaac recording that went out today, um, and it also is, I wouldn't say significantly quiet, but it's also quieter than the episode that I uploaded yesterday. And I've not done anything, and no settings have changed, and I don't know what's going on, and it's driving me insane. And it's like, at this point, I think I should just bite the bullet, and, um, bite and buy another microphone. Just bite the bullet and, uh, oh my god, I absolutely launched that guy. That was hilarious. Yeah, I feel like I should just buy the bullet and, like, buy a new Blue Yeti. Because I still want the same microphone, because it's really good. But at the same time, I'm going to be, like, mega, mega annoyed if I buy a new microphone that's, like, £120. And it's still quiet, and it's just some software thing. But, like, I don't see how it could be software. Because I've tried so many things and nothing's fixed it. Like, or I've checked all my levels in OBS, I've checked all my levels on the microphone, I've checked all my levels in Windows, I've checked my levels everywhere, and they all say it's at 100%. And I'm sorry to be venting in this Voidigo episode, but honestly, the first floor is kind of chill anyway, so it's fine. And it's just, I tell you what, it's just, as a YouTuber, as someone that, like, needs, like, my microphone to be working and consistent, it's getting real goddamn annoying that, like, it's just being super, super inconsistent at the moment. And I, I just really have no idea as to why. So, we'll use this little um, bass hunter here. Seems kind of intriguing. We can get the, uh, what's it called for it? Okay, it's one of those weapons that arcs as well, so we've got to be a little thingy with how we use it. Seems like a really good weapon thus far. Some more of these scarab things. I still don't really know what these things sitting around are. I'll be honest, but we'll get there. But yeah, this thing's doing a real good job. We got another one of these popped. Beautiful. I realize I don't have to kill every enemy. This thing seems to be better against enemies that are against a wall. Um, here's our boss. 
We don't want to fight you quite yet, though. I'll leave you for now. And last one is here. Good, good. The enemies that are against the wall get hit by this a little easier because it doesn't as easily jump over their heads, which I kind of like. Ah, that was just colossally stupid. Uh, let's do a challenge room here. Um, so these are all guns, right? Yeah, so this let, let's just go and do the non-challenge version, and we'll just get the item at the end. I learnt recently you can do that. I don't really care about the rewards of all the other ones, so why add the extra challenge to it? What's the point? Nice. We've got our weapon thingy here. It's kind of good to just, like, stuff the weapon directly into him. Thank you for that. And then, here we go. We've got... Bouncy bullets, brilliant idea. Let's go with bouncy, I like bouncy bullets. It just seems like more, like, opportunity for chaos. And obviously I love the idea of that. Uh, right, so boss man is still sitting up here. We're a bit low on ammo right now. So that's not going to be great. Very bad hit there. Alright, okay. Let's fight boss man. We'll fight him with our pistol for now. Has he moved? He has moved again. God damn you. We could throw our weapon in the recycler here. Not probably the best idea right now. Let's let's quickly go to our shop real quick and see if there's much we can do there. Oh, the, the boss decided to come back for us, actually. Good timing on you. Okay, this, we this weapon does pretty good goddamn good uh, damage against you, so... If you start dropping us ammo, I will take that very graciously. There you go. Because this thing is very easy to hit the boss. It does a very good job dealing damage. I don't know if Bouncy Bullets is going to be all too sort of swanky with this. Because it kind of hip-hops around anyways and fades out over time. But oh, we're all out of ammo on it again. God damn, ammo has been an issue for us so far here. It really has. It's not so bad. There's some more ammo there. Reload the fish. I kind of like that. Right. Let's just chase after her and get her done. Oh, really? Even after you leave, it still makes us hop on this? Fair enough, I guess. But I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. <laughs> I was hoping I could just leave. Right, boss. You're trying to get away from me, but you shall not. Quickly crack that open. Oh my god, I'm taking some real bad damage here. I and mean, we'll get some HP out for you anyways. That's not a problem. Boom, bow, and boom, bow. And you enter your unholy phase. Oh my god, this thing does crazy good damage against this phase. I'm just hoping we get the ammo to sustain using it. There you go. I'm just gonna let you have your little paddy fit. And then grab my ammo, thank you. Oh my god, you moved at some speed there. Wow. Congratulations to you, big snail creature. Okay, there you go. Not too bad at all. Get some more HP, get some more ammo. Bullet ring on reload. Um, bullet ring on reload sounds good. Uh, let's go quickly go to our shop and make sure there's not too much to get from there. And then we'll uh, make our way back. Honestly, let's also smush our beginner gun as well. Why not? See, there you go. We got ourselves the banana splat. No banana split here, just banana splat. I like that idea. Seems good to me. I'm really liking the base hunter though at the minute. Base hunter seems very, very good. Right, shop, what do you have for us? You... 15 shards from a banana splat? Mm, I don't know about that. Instant power-up bundle for 20. Water stomp. Laser on block. I'm going to take the bat boots. Quite pricey, but 
the uh, the boot attacks seem to be pretty darn good overall. Right. To the next world we go. Yeah, the, the, the boot attacks, from what I've seen so far, like, their cooldown's pretty crap, but once you get them upgraded, it's not so bad. And they seem to do some real good work. Right, so you want... Oh, no, wait, no. You want a, a weapon for that power up. Uh, you would like that for an upgrade. Trading a weapon away is kind of a not terrible idea. Sacrifice max HP for some bundles. Let's do that. We get ourselves water bullet chance. Increased accuracy and slight herming. I'll take that. Increased melee durability. Soul attack on reload. Increased max ammo. I'll take that. Chance on coffee drop. Bullets do sharp turn to avoid walls. That seems kind of interesting with bouncy. I don't know if that's like a good thing. Like, that, that, that's that's either going to be really good or a complete anti-synergy. I guess we'll figure out. Because like, if it bounces when they hit walls but they don't hit walls, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Oh wait, did it just spawn us? Wow. Wow. It just spawned us directly on top of the um, the chest. That's That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's just leave that there. We've got means we've got stuff in the bag for later. And we will see what we can get done here. Bat attacks just absolutely demolished everything. That's all whatever's in here. The Nordun Ballista. Interesting. Let's use the Bass Mouth, um Bass Hunt or whatever it's called. Um till it's out of ammo. I will accept your quest. And we can go and fill a few of those up already, which is kind of awesome. Boom and boom. Okay, this thing's doing good work, of course. You keep getting your little shell out, but it's okay. All of you are dunion rings. Lots of stuff to look at here. Um, oh shit, you're an enemy. You're like hiding amongst my little carts here. Right, check all of these. We'll take this one. Um, yeah, the laser chasers. We've dealt with this one before. It's It's somewhat annoying, but it's not terrible. You just got to be kind of on it in terms of moving around. I am currently not on it in terms of moving around. Okay, this has become harder than I thought it would be. Good. I think using the banana thing is going to be the way to go here. Trees, can you, like, chill out for a minute? Snake bullets, why not? Is that all of our ghosties? That's all of our ghosties said and done. Right, let's go hand this quest in before we do anything else. Right, where is the, he the quest hand in? Uh, where is it again? Oh, it's all the way down. All the way down. <clears throat> this banana, what the hell? Yeah, then we get that. Then we get max HP as well. Shop is here too. Very nice to see. Um, spirit attack assist. Uh, melee bullets. Swing shot. I'm guessing that just means that when I melee, it fires bullets more than anything else. More accuracy? Why not? Go with the spirit on assist thing. Spirit assist on kill. Seems good to me. Right, let's get out of here.
You got your little babies. Good, good, good. You got your little babies. Right. This weapon seems real goddamn good, by the way. I'm liking it. Ain't much to see in this room, though. Got more of these things again. It's real strange to keep seeing those. Oh my god, there's so much going on. So much going on. It's hard to keep track in this game. But it is what it is. Okay, we got another one of these. Good, good. Okay, boss time, hello. Have we got you fully un, un like revealed yet? I don't think we do, do we? Good. She's letting the boss kind of do its thing right now while I uh, do my thing. Okay, good. Everything's dead. What's in here? No thanks. Boss man, you've got two things I need to do first. Oh, come on. I hate it when it does that. I'm not looking to fight you yet, boss man. Leave me be. <clears throat> I know that the bass thing is good, but I'm getting rid of it for now just because we don't need it. Got this, this gun's really good. to be doing a bang up job. Good, good. Hey, we got our banana essence. It's a strange thing to say, but we got it. Okay. Boss has decided to make his way over here once again. We're still not ready for you, my guy. We're still not ready for you. We got another one of these chests. I really don't like the the way this banana births another banana. It's it's fairly disturbing. It's fairly disturbing to say the least. Look at that. One jump, one banana, done. And then the banana guy makes a very strange noise and it stabs everyone. Good. Okay. Boss is already taking some damage here. I want to try and clear out the room first just to make things a little easier on us. Things are doing a good job of that right now. Okay. This thing does a pretty good amount of damage to the boss. We've got our bat boot ready again. Stomp on him. Oh my god, that's big damage. And you're flying off. Well, I'm following you. Don't think you can get away that easily. You barely even got away for a moment. Okay, a little annoying to, to nestle yourself in a corner here where I can't get to you very easily. There you go, good. Get out of there. Where's my bat boot gone? I really need upgrades for that because it's so slow to come back until you get the upgrade. And as you can see, it's very worth it. Okay. 
Oh, you're still not gone. I thought you were gone then. You left ammo, so I thought you were going away, but turns out I was wrong. There you go. Second phase. Nope. Nope. You're just going away again. Come on now. Oh my god, this boss. Bloody come back. We're so close to death. Right, we should have our boots back again in any second as well. And I think all those little ghosty things are my spirit assist. Right, that should kill you, right? There you go, good, good. Yeah, this is going to kill you pretty quick. Just got to be wary of what's to come. Dude, come back to all my bats. My bat snakes, by the looks of it, whatever they are. He managed to avoid a lot of them, actually, which is kind of annoying. Ah, oh, dude, stop running away. Oh, God. I am loving this game so much, but if there's one thing I could change, it'd be stop the bosses, buddy. Once I'm already in combat with them, just keep them in one room. There's no need for them to be buggering off ever everywhere else when I've already cleared all the other rooms. Like, if there was rooms that were uncleared, I'd kind of get it, because it promote you to go clear them. But when every other room is clear, like, come on now, boy. Really bad hit there. I'm getting complacent because this guy's taking forever to kill. Really, I'm gonna bat boot and you're gonna instantly go underground. That's okay, my bats actually did get him there. Boom. Got him. And we level up this again. I'm just going to go for a max on this because leveling things up to max gives you something extra. So why not? And we'll head on to the next floor. This banana item, despite being quite disturbing, is really, really good. <laughs> really, really good. Um, sacrifice power up for maximum HP. Hell no. Sacrifice power up for power up. Nah. Sacrifice those for an upgrade. All of those are kind of naff. Sadly. Right, away we go. I've definitely left some things behind. Grow up with a pine a mutual trust familiarity. Forget what these enemies do. Okay, they're not too hard. I got hit by one straight off the bat there, but mainly because I'm an idiot more than anything else. Yeah, boom. Oh, I forgot about these. Nice. Yeah, these little weird shots that chase you. Do not like them. Those are very annoying. Move through and try and get all the thingies first. Loot portal, nice. Get ourselves the giant insect debris. Oh, the insect debris is really good. We've had this before. It's just like a really, really rapid fire melee. Like once it combos, it gets rapid fire. Which is pretty damn strong. I've managed to land that guy inside a house. Oh no, this horse thing absolutely demolished me last time I came across it. Let's back away from this. 
Do you want my bullet lotion? For 30. 30 is not a lot, really. You know what? I'm going to take whatever this thing is that I've just grabbed here. This is cool, but I'm, I'm not really feeling melee today for some reason. Shop, we got 54. Let's check out what we got going on here. You would like... Buy full heal. Okay, for 25 crystals. We don't need that right now. Um, Faster melee attack. Direct bullets to last stomp. Yeah. Double bullet wall linger time. 25% higher chance. Double upgrades there, I think. Upgraded items seem to be worth a lot more than just buying new level ones, in my opinion. That's what I've sort of seen so far. Right, again... At the minute, honestly, the enemies are so difficult on these stages that I want to be just, like, doing all of the uh, thingies first. And then just doing the other enemies if I, if I want to. Oh, dude, that guy wrecked me. Stop right there, bitch boy. This thing's like setting enemies on fire and stuff. It's kind of nice. Got some challenge rooms going on here. Ants in the pants. Um, apparently I failed already. I, I didn't even read what it was it was going to do to me. So, fairly confused. I mean, it's obviously my bad for, um, for not reading. Still though. Oh, dude, that guy destroys walls with his shots. That's scary. Oh, my goodness. That axe throw was kind of spicy. Fuck yeah. Ow! What the... F the dickens just hit me. Uh, so I'm very low health right now. Um, I got hit by something and I'm entirely unsure as to what it was. Do you know what? Let's quickly... Okay, apparently I can't leave here now. That's great. Do not sprint. A novel concept, but I'm sure we can do it. Hopefully we'll get some HP from one of these enemies. Don't know if we're going to live through this, I'll be honest. Not being able to sprint is wigging me out a bit. That's rather nice. Put that in there real quick, try and get some more HP. I just sprinted. Oh, that feels so bad. It's fine. I was so stupid though. I knew I wasn't meant to sprint and I did it anyways. I just got... What? I just got hit again for like a crazy amount of damage at the end. Am I missing something really, really obvious at the end of these challenges? Because that's the second time I've done a challenge at the end of it I've just been absolutely destroyed. Right, let's go down this way. Give me all that HP. Oh, really? The boss entered the stage the moment I went to leave? Could you not? Where's the little exit button? There it is. Yeah, Pony, no thank you. 
I really wanted that scythe thing. I really wanted that scythe. Right, boss is done and ready to go. Ow. Dude, he's hitting like crazy. Okay. Boss boy, it is time. Where art thou? You are in the room above me, apparently. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait, nope. You've entered the room I was just in. This boss, man. Just stay in one place. <laughs> Last time, this boss absolutely destroyed me. So, let's see how we do this time. God. Get out of here with your tongue. It's a really cool little designed boss, but goddamn is he strong and complicated. And you're out of here. Where are you off to? Just the room above? Is that all? Not moving anywhere else? Okay. That would be fine if this room wasn't absolutely completely full of enemies. Good. Doing really good damage. These buttons are helping. Oh my god, I just got hit really hard. And I used my stomp boots and he moved the moment I used them. Okay, that's the second time now that I've died to this little pony guy. He is really, really rough. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll try out the new character in the next episode um, and give it a go. See what happens. But yeah, not having a good time against him thus far. If anyone's got any tips for that boss, please do let me know. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.